How's it going everyone? Javita here with a grapple crash course. I've had quite a few questions on how to use the grapple both on PC and PS4, so I'll be covering both here. Uh, but yeah, for PC it's pretty straightforward. You click to shoot the grapple, click again to let go. Uh, so if you actually want to pull yourself up, of course, shoot the grapple attached to something. And now you can hit R by default to pull yourself up. You can hit F to let yourself back out. And again, you can click to release the grapple. Uh, while you're doing this, you can also use the movement keys to kind of nudge yourself around. And actually, which is pretty awesome, you can like swing. So like you would on a normal swing set. So you kind of go back and forth and eventually you'll pick up some speed. Uh, just keep in mind that while you're doing this, the grapple does kind of have a tendency to slowly let out. So if you're swinging over something hazardous like lava, uh, you might find yourself eventually dipping into it unless you're just already uh, at the maximum length of the grapple. But uh, this particular grapple can reel out quite a ways. So as you can see, I eventually hit the ground. So to cover the same thing on the controller, uh, pick up my controller here. So we use the appropriate trigger for the appropriate hand. So let's see our left trigger for that hand. And now we can use the trigger to actually pull ourselves up. To let ourselves down, uh, we use the corresponding bumper. So left bumper for the left hand. And so we got the trigger going up and then the bumper going down. So, and if we want to let go of the grapple, uh, we have to use the D-pad down and that will release the last uh, or the oldest grapple connection. So what I mean by that, so I'm going to grapple, say, this tree and grapple this other tree. And now I can reel in independently. So I can reel in to the right while lifting letting out the left and I can let out the right while reeling in the right. So that's pretty interesting. So uh, technically controllers have better control over their grapples than even PC users. So that is pretty interesting. Uh, again, I can kind of swing back and forth from my uh, interesting little swing that I got here. Let's see, I kind of maybe let out both of these. Let's see how well the swinging works. Eh. I guess it might eventually work. But um, yeah, so in order to let go, I can hit D-pad down and it's going to let go of the oldest grapple. So I can grapple this one again, let go, and it lets go of, again, the oldest grapple. So I can kind of reel in, fire, reel in, let go, fire, and so on and so forth. So pretty nifty. Once you get the hang of it, pretty nice because it gives you a lot of control over your grapples. But uh, yeah, maybe not the most intuitive. Uh, it should pop up a little tooltip giving you the controls for the grapple. But uh, yeah, I still had quite a few questions of how to use these particularly for controllers. Another really important thing to note about grapple control is that when you're grappled onto a ledge kind of like this and you just can't quite get up, well in fact you actually can. If you kind of hold forward and hit the jump button, you'll pull yourself up and move forward just a little bit. If you don't hold a direction, then you'll just kind of jump straight up and then straight back down. And yeah, so a limitation of this, or at least the feature of it, is that if you're not looking at your grapple, or at least the same general direction, like say I turn and look away, I cannot jump. So I'm pressing the space bar and it, will, and it won't let me jump back up. But uh, if I look towards where the grapple is grappled, I can hit the jump button and I'll hop right up. So just to kind of show, if I don't hold a direction, I hop straight up, but I don't actually go forward. So you do have to hold a little bit of a direction. So as you can see, this is insanely invaluable for getting you out of holes and difficult situations. That otherwise, you'd either have to build a tower or dig like a staircase and whatnot. 
So yeah, that is the basic of grapple controls. You can do a lot of really amazing things with grapples, especially the higher level ones. Uh, great for getting around, getting out of tight spaces, traveling faster. Uh, one thing that is really good to note is that if you grapple the ground, or at least while you're grappled, you are immune to fall and impact damage. So if you slam yourself into a wall, you won't take any damage as long as you're still grappled to something. Also, you can fall from great heights, and as long as your grapple hits the ground first and connects, you won't take any fall damage. Uh, when this feature was added, it's not really a feature, it was a workaround. It was mentioned that this was a temporary fix and that eventually it would change, but it has been like this for the better part of a year, so we'll see if it ever actually does change. So let's take a quick look at some of the early grapples you'll have access to, some of the easiest grapples to make, and they're pretty decent R copper grapples. They have an extremely short range, however, they are pretty decent for what they are. Uh, they reel in at a decent rate. And if you have two of them, you can climb up just about anything. So again, the range is pretty bad, but let's see here. Maybe I can swing over there, get the momentum going. Can I? Oh, yeah, there we go. So I can reach and maybe, yeah, there we go. So pretty nice. Uh, there is a longer range version that is also pretty easy to get your hands on, however these are pretty dismally slow. So it has a much further range as you can see, but it just is painful for the real end speed. So these are pretty good for building if, you, if range is really important to you, but they're pretty painful to use. I In the past I preferred iron over grapple, but yeah, when the new universe hit and I was used to the nicer grapples, uh, I ended up using copper grapples until I could make something better. So those are the two basic grapples you might be able to get your hands on first. A good thing to note is that on all the grapples or really any tool you can access their stats and see them here. So you can see that this has a projectile speed of 30 meters. That's how fast the actual grapple travels through the air as you fire it. And then the real end speed, whew, two meters a second. That is dismal. I mean, look at it. It reels out at 10 meters a second, which is pretty decent, but the two meters reeling in, that is painful. Uh, you can see that the copper is at least five meters. It was still slow, but it was a serviceable. So, uh, but then come over to something like a emerald grapple and you can see uh, that it has a real end speed of 40 meters a second, which is pretty awesome. It actually reels out slower than it reels in. Uh, but yeah, that is grapples in a nutshell. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Uh, but anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.